Hi, in this video, we're going to work with prime numbers and see how we can integrate an algorithm that finds all of the prime numbers from zero to two million. If you tried to do this with a maybe an older programming language or something like that, you'd find that this would take a ton of code to write, but I'm gonna show you how we can do it very quickly and efficiently. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna require the prime library. At, now that we have access to prime library, we're going to have the ability to bring in some prime methods that I'll show you here in a second. So the first thing I'm going to do is, if I can spell it correctly, is create a prime array. And here I'm going to call the prime class and call a class method called take wow and so all this is going to do is it's going to iterate over whatever range we tell it to to go which in this case is going to be zero to two million and then it's just going to return that into an array so let's create an iterative variable called p and say keep on going or take wow it is under two million. So it's gonna, by default, start out as zero. And I'm gonna say two million. Uh, and just in case you've never seen this before, uh, Ruby is pretty flexible with how it handles integers. And you can put an underscore here where commas would be, and it will skip these, uh, these underscores, but it makes it a little bit easier to read. So let's see what this, before we keep going, let's uh, see what this does for us. So I'm gonna just print the prime array and we'll say Ruby prime counter. And there you go, returns a gigantic amount of numbers because it's returning all of the prime numbers from zero all the way up to two million. So that's cool, so that that's working. Now let's update this array and I'm going to just call it updated underscore array and here I'm going to take our prime array and we're going to call the inject method on it and with inject I'm going to simply total them up so we're going to pass a couple iterator variables here the first is going to be sum and the next one is going to be x which is the value that uh, that it's gonna take at that time. So I'm going to say sum plus x. So if we switch back to the terminal, all this is doing is pretend that our first number is uh, 1,990,000, or 997,141. It's gonna take that and then it's going to add that on top of whatever the sum is so here we go let's see if this works so this should print out each one and the updated array probably isn't the best name here let's just say uh, because it's not even a r array so let's just say total count because that's what this is going to return to us okay let's clear and run this again and there you go. This is the correct answer. I verified with uh, with Project Euler, which posted this math question. And let's copy it and paste it in here as a comment. And then we can count it. So we have, uh, let's see, 922, 828,000, 9,013,013. Okay. So we have 142,913,828,000 thousand nine hundred twenty two that is the total count of primes starting from zero to and going up to two million so essentially what it does is it goes what this algorithm does it goes through every single value and it looks for all the primes it put that into an array from there we took the inject method and added all of those numbers together. So pretend like we just went to one and then, or three and then five and seven and kept going all the way down and just added whatever the new number in the array is. We just stacked it and added it right on top of sum and sum is the value that was returned and is stored in total count. So as you can see in just a couple lines of code, we're able to 
to implement a math solution that if you heard somebody ask for you to create a solution for that, that'd be very difficult, a very challenging kind of thing to, uh, to implement. But as you can see with Ruby, it actually makes it pretty easy. So make sure that if you ever have to implement anything involving prime numbers and calculations with primes, definitely take a look at the uh, prime module that Ruby, Ruby offers, and I think you'll be really happy with the results.